Hey guys, how's it going? Another little edition of Kneeboard Talk, uh, Geeks and Ears, and I'm alongside one of the most inspirational kneeboarders. When I was a kid, I met him, Paddy Laroc. Paddy, how you doing, bro? Good to see you, Gigo. Yeah, good, man. So, lots of exciting things have been happening in the world of kneeboarding, okay? One of them is a lot of tech development. We've seen over the last few seasons, specific kneeboard pads being designed from various parts of the world. Uh, we can think of David Parks' editions. Uh, there's the Cove Pad guys in America. Even These pads that we've got, we just bought them from Bunnings and just stuck them on with some adhesive. I do my own pads. Just uh, EVA 75. Uh, contact cement both sides. It's a three hour process actually. It's, a, it's quite, a, quite a long process. So stick the pads down. I cut the pads out, stick the pads down the board, so it's. Uh, I don't really need any wax on the board, so it's. Um, we we like it that way. I've done some stuff, so we're seeing specialised kneeboard product. That's pretty cool, but Paddy is one of those geniuses that likes to think outside the box. Paddy, let's get stuck into the Paddy pad. Tell us a little bit about where this came from, what your thoughts are. Okay, it's been an interesting uh, road to go down because. As Gig said, coming out of the States and coming out of Australia, there's some really, really good pads out there. But those pads, although they, they are affordable for us to buy, to ship it here, it's just too expensive. We don't have the market yet to be able to mold some of those pads, so what I decided to do was come up with the correct EVA and then do a bit of research into how thick it should be, uh, what density it should be, what sure hardness it should be, and how we're going to be able to come up with a pad like this that is sticky and has an impact zone that you can see here, very similar to what's overseas, but is affordable for us South Africans. So I've come up with the EVA. I'm not going to tell you too much about that. That's a long story. It is a scuff surface and it is CNC machined to this profile. And we have another profile down the bottom there that Giggs has got. But, uh, um, Honestly, I think the one on the board is a better one. Dude, I dig this. Yeah, yeah. Um, this so, you've, one, so, so, Paddy, you got your you got your grid here where the knee area is, right? Yeah. And then you've done you've done this diagonals out where your swim yeah. fin traction would go, or your be, your yeah. back feet, or the top of your feet if you're riding without swim fins. Correct. So this is your impact zone that you can see here, um, which works really, really well. I've surfed this now for I think this board's done about 10 hours surfing and this surface once it gets wet it actually gets stickier um, even with a wetsuit on you better make sure the impact zone is correct so much of the overseas ones to to move around is not easy so even lester if you're listening you won't need to get <laughs> wet it works really and really Betty, well. that's how he comes right so this is the one grid pattern that's the other that's how the pad comes and obviously with its own 3m type backing so 3m backing peel and stick so and this is available in South Africa and you could ship this wherever in the world, You'll right? You'll be able to ship it yeah. anywhere. Uh, the first prototypes will be coming to gigs while well, say within a month or so. Nice. So guys, the Paddy Pad, check it out. We'll, uh, we'll give you more uh, leads uh, where to find the stuff online and through the social platforms. Paddy, I love it. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a try, man. Smash it. Work. Let's yeah. see what happens. Good, Good one, one, man. Good to yeah. see you again. Good one, guys. Adios.